All right, guys, welcome to another beer review. And uh, today we're looking at a beer, um, another beer from Northern Monk, um, part of their patrons project. Probably my favourite beer series um, of the year. And probably the, the Northern Monk beers that I seem to gravitate towards to, actually. Um, but this time, this is actually a gift from my very good friend and beer brother, Craig, from Kent Beer Reviews, who kindly uh, gave me this and uh, a bottle of the Brow Pact, which is the Weinstefana and Sierra Nevada collaboration, which is a beautiful little beer, by the way. Uh, when I met up with him, uh, Stuart and Rob, in Huddersfield for a nice little cheeky day out. I wish I could have stayed the whole weekend because that would have been just absolutely fantastic. Some of the places we got to go to, and of course we went to get, yeah, we went to Magic Rock as well. Um, unfortunately, um, obviously because of time constraints and such, we didn't actually manage to get to um, Northern Monk, which of course, yeah, not too far away from where we were, but um, anyway. I'm waffling on already, and I've only just started, but um, yeah, so this is the Northern Monk Patrons Project 14.01, and this is a TDH Pale Ale, so Triple Dry Hopped Pale Ale, oi, 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 oi. clocking in at 5.7% ABV, 440ml can. This is brewed with Citra BBC, Oi Oi, Simcoe, and Equinot, and this is in collaboration with Hyde Park Brass, who I think are a... They're like a brass-based band, obviously, uh, who do cover versions of popular songs. And I think they play at the refectory quite a lot. But uh, first of all, as is always the case with the Patrons Project, fantastic artwork. Nice and simple this time around. Lovely typography. And there is the uh, inside of the label, which I will quickly read. Uh, do, 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 do. So, Northern Monk obviously is an initiative set up to foster collaboration, creativity, and community between af artists, athletes, and creatives across the North, the North and includes support for Battle Lines, Tom Joy, James Butler, Jack King, Finger Thing, Ricky Lightfoot, Hide and Seek, Drill Mill Ward, Nomad Clan, and John Simmons. So, uh, here we go. So, High Park Brass, a high energy track which captures the band's Raucous energy, obelisk, packs punch from start to finish. Loaded with a roaring tram, trombone melody and filthy sax solo that shatters any sense of security. Uh, obelisk was the band's first original and helped them explode onto the movie, music scene with the rare distinctive sound. Hyde Park Brass is a hard-hitting nine-piece brass outfit born on the streets of Hyde Park, Leeds. Venturing across the country but always finding a home in Yorkshire, the band has developed an organic atmosphere that has entertained audiences around the UK and beyond, and this powerful partnership with Northern Monk will translate their impactful sound into a unique taste. So scan this Spotify search bar to go straight to the track. So I'm not too sure, can that actually work via the means of video? It'd be interesting if someone could actually give that a try to see if that actually does work by holding that up to the camera. Um, oh well, I'll definitely be giving them a listen. I should have probably given them a listen before I uh, start this review, but of course I will put the uh, links down below. So, Obelisk, Triple Dry Hot Pale Ale, notes from the brewer. In our ongoing quest to create the ultimate crushable dry hot pale, we decided once again to brew a beer which punches well above its weight. This IPA comes in at a sensible 5.7%, but packs an intensity of flavour to, to defy its low alcohol level. Huge amounts of flavour, but high drinkability in the name of the game of this series. I'm trying to read this fast because uh, I'm expecting to be interrupted any moment now. And we built the water to give a good inherent mouthfeel with a balanced amount of sweetness. We then loaded the grist with a high percentage of oats and the animal to add a robust body. We kept kettle hops to a minimum, but dry hopped heavily in three stages through dry hopping and conditioning, utilising the heavyweight tree of Simcoe. Uh, Citra, Simcoe, and Equinut for maximum sweet tropical fruit, pine needles, and dankness. So, um, yeah, fantastic stuff. So another entry into the Patrons Project. And uh, again, massive thank you to my uh, beer brother Craig for kindly providing me with this beer. A little bit active, even though it has been, oh, it smells nice, resting for a few days. Well, a couple of days, actually. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But, um, yeah, if you've not been to Huddersfield, or Leeds in general, around that area, you've got to go. 
Uh, I was actually amazed at how quickly I got there and how cheap it was. It's like £24 for a return ticket. And, oh God, I can smell that from here. Jesus Christ. And it took me about, well, about 20 minutes to get the bus to Wigan train station. Then it was about a 20 to 30 minute train ride to Manchester Oxford Road. And then like a 20 to 30 minute ride to Huddersfield. So uh, I could definitely see myself visiting again sometime soon. Uh, well, a lot of times in the future and going to different parts of uh, Leeds and up north anyway. But um, yeah, uh, yeah, my hair is actually greasy because it's my day off today. But look at that monster. That is turbid as hell. That's got chicken stock, my pure intense mango peach juice look to it. Uh, that is dense as hell. Beer poured with about half a finger's worth of a white fluffy head. But yeah, that looks absolutely wonderful. Almost has like a cloudy apple juice look to it as well. But anyway, let's see what we get on the nose. God, that is dank as hell. That is like pure resin, pine needles. But there's loads of like chewy, like ripe, bruised peach, mango, papaya. A little bit of like a slight pear aroma also. Subtle watermelon. And then there's like these like nice tart berry tones. A little bit of cranberry in there. But yeah, that is just hopped to the eyeballs. And it smells absolutely wonderful. It's really packing a punch. It really, really is. So hopefully that translates to the flavour as well, but just pure tropical danky goodness so let's give it a taste cheers and cheers craig once again jesus christ that is hoppy as hell that is so dank really strong consistent bitterness but it still has these lovely slightly vibrant fruity tones there's a big citric tartness in there as well. Loads of lime I'm getting on this beer. It's almost got like a savoury flavour. And I'm not just talking about that like oniony garlicky. It's like there's something savoury in this beer. But it's working so beautifully. Body is tremendous. Or as Paul would like to keep bullying me with. Hashtag lovely. It really is. That is chewy as hell. It's like hopped like a triple IPA. And you're almost tricked into thinking that this is a higher ABV beer than it actually is. And even though it is triple dry hopped. You're really getting no burn or greenness in there. I'm getting a little bit of starburst. Yeah, this is like, I've said this quite a few times in these sort of like IPA pale ale reviews. <laughs> this is like the remedy. If you're getting a little bit tired of the just like fruit bowl, milkshake sweet, gentle IPAs and pale ales. If you want a big, big, chewy, dense, almost like marijuana skunk resin flavour. It's like getting blowback. If you've ever had blowback before. But it's fruity as hell as well. And loads of citrus character now. That savoury. It's almost like a, a lemongrass. And it's even like a, like a spicy ginger character coming through. And that's just from the hops man. It's just fantastic. It really really is. Uh, not too sure when this was canned. Um, best before was October 2018. I'd imagine it's like it's one of those instances where it's like four to five months or something like that. But no, that is absolutely wonderful. I just can't believe that it's only a 5.7% ABV beer because it's actually tasting like a ridiculously hopped, like classic, almost like palate wrecking, like triple IPA. But it's sessionable as fuck and it is nowhere near harsh at all. That's absolutely wonderful. It really, really is. Um, they've, they've knocked out of the park again with this patrons project. 
I think the only beer that I've not enjoyed was the, uh, well I say not enjoyed, it was good, but I don't think, I think I deleted the, the video by mistake, but it was the peanut butter jelly brown ale that they did, and I think it's because I'm not the biggest fan of brown ales, um, is probably what paid, played a part in that. But this, another stonking pale ale from Northern Monk. And absolutely fantastic. So, of course, links down below to all the usual references. Of course, to my Patrons Project playlist, my Northern Monk playlist. Check out Northern Monk if you haven't done so already. Uh, check out Hyde Park Brass as well. I'll definitely be giving those a listen uh, tonight as I'm editing videos and stuff. And, uh, yeah, fantastic artwork. Wonderful stuff again. I'm going to give that one a 9 out of 10. That's absolutely wonderful. It really, really is. So if you tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions. Uh, what are some of your favourite, like, triple dry hopped beers? Uh, just give me any recommendations, any beers that you can think of that sound like this. Hit me up in the comments. Um, I'm going to enjoy each and every sip of this. And again, massive, massive thank you to Craig for sent, uh, giving this to me. Uh, you really didn't have to, mate, but I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to him already, his link will be in the description. Um, you know, he's beer brother. It's more than just a beer brother. He's like, these guys are like family to me. Do you know what I mean? Um, without getting all gushy and goo and do 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 and sentimental, um, I don't know where I'd be without those guys um, after this year not to harp on about that again but do you know what I mean uh, they I don't know if they realize uh, just how fantastic uh, they are to me and I was so so glad even though it was a bit last minute for me personally to be able to meet up with them again and uh, hopefully it won't be as long uh, until the next time and you know I can get to Leeds and like Huddersfield really quickly now so my wallet is gonna hate me but my liver will, in the mean, in the long run, probably hate me too. But my liver will definitely love me. And um, yeah, even though I want to start cutting down a little bit, to be honest. Anyway, what the hell am I talking about? This could have been like a 10 minute video, which is short for me. But um, yeah, wonderful stuff. If you tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions. Are you a fan of the brewery? Are you a fan of this series? Just check out all those links down below. And hopefully next time, um, well, hopefully you'll join me next time. So. Uh, Thank you for watching. I don't know what it is with me recording beer reviews lately. I've been doing such a terrible job with them. It's like I've not done it for a while, even though I think the longest I've been without beer recently was about three or four days. Anyway, thank you guys, and uh, hopefully you'll join me next time for another beer review. Cheers. And I need to get rid of this double chin. I need to cut down on this, but I can't help it because it tastes so bloody good. Two buys.